Welcome to another uh, GeoGebra tutorial here in uh, Math Stuff and what we are going to learn today is um, how to use LaTeX to write some uh, geometric um, expressions. So we are going to write um, segment AB is uh, perpendicular to segment CD, angle B is uh, congruent to angle Q, triangle PQR is uh, similar to triangle STU, and L is parallel to M, so that's line L, parallel to M. So again, we use the text tool of uh, GeoGebra to um, write the texts. So as in the previous tutorial, we just check the logic formula text box here and then write the expression so the code for oh, for uh, the segment that's the line here above the letter is above the letters is overline so just type slash overline and then you just put put the letters inside the curly brackets and then uh, perpendicular is slash p e r p so you can see the preview here and then or cd again slash overline and then cd okay so after you you finish typing you just click the OK button. Again the code, the code you can use this uh, code anywhere if you wanna for example embed in your blog or uh, use it in, a, in an online forum. So if the online forum or the blog supports LaTeX you just have to type this type this code. Okay so this is A B perpendicular to C. Next we type angle P is congruent to angle Q. So angle is just again backslash angle. So you see if you don't check the LaTeX formula checkbox here, you will just see the same thing in the edit box and in the preview box. So you just check here. Angle P is congruent, that is backslash C O N G. And then backslash Q. Oh, sorry. Max plus angle Q. Okay. Okay, so we're done. So this is angle B is congruent to angle Q. Next, we have triangle PQR. So for triangle, same slash and triangle. And then PQR. Now, what is the the code for this one? The symbol similar. Code is approx slash approx, and then triangle again. Sorry, space S T U. Okay, so this is. It. And the last one is L. L is parallel to M. So the code for parallel is just slash parallel. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see this, but let me just uh, adjust the spacing and just change the size to a little bit larger okay so those are the expressions that we typed okay hope you've learned something thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial